Jupiter, I... Oh, oh th three? <laughs> I've seen some posts about a uh, smartphone that doubled as a vaping, a vaping tool, a vaporizer. Wow, really? Yeah. That's very ingenious. Uh, but brushed it off as a hilarious vaporware. Some kind of vapor alternative. Yeah. That would uh, never come to fruition. It, does, it sounds ridiculous. Well, yeah, to be able to smoke out of your phone is pretty awesome, but just a dream, really. Yeah. Well, it came with two batteries, after all. One for the phone and another to power your uh, narcotics puffer. Huh. As it turns out, the product actually does exist. Some brilliant genius finally made this. Jupiter and Vapor Code combined to somehow get the product through the FCC approval as late as last year, which is actually totally amazing. And a 4G model of the smart vapor vape phone, smart vapor phone is supposedly due out mm. later this year. That's actually pretty amazing, honestly. I'm not only impressed by the product, which would you know allow you to get high while talking on your phone from the phone itself, but also it's uh, really amazing that they got that through all of the red tape that it takes to produce something like that. Sounds like a cop's nightmare, actually. It's a racket. It's a huge it, racket. It's just, you don't have to combine everything, people. Just have your separate tools for your separate terrible habits. Yeah, nobody's saying that you should invent like a hammer slash insulin injector or anything like that. Let's, uh, let's start making some boundaries between the things that we want to use and the things that we want to put in our bodies. Yeah, besides, you can probably get a better phone if you just keep them separate. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up next year, combination tampon and hamburger cooker. Super dangerous. On to the next one. The Lord. 